Who says there's no hockey in summer? If Carolina, Anaheim, and Tampa Bay can have hockey teams, I can talk about hockey in the summer. Summer shenanigans. I declare shenanigans. Because I can't just read Calvin and Hobbes all the time. Ha! He's head booger. Uh, what was... Oh! Hockey, right. <laughs> For this video, we're going to talk about some of the Leaf signings, the Ryan Hallweg trade, the special Leaf fan announcement, and also the Dallas Stars. First, the Leafs signed four Marley-type players, I guess the most important of which being Ben Andres. Because really, what is this ship without its captain? Glad to see Benny back, because the rumors I was hearing was he wasn't coming back. And he hasn't really been the best NHLer, but as a guy who can only afford Marley's tickets, He's great to watch there. So glad he's back and congratulations to everyone else who was signed. As for the special fan announcement that was just made, I think it kind of relates to what I was just saying about how I can only afford Marley's tickets. Hockey at a reasonable price. MLS and E announced that they will add another preseason game to the schedule against Buffalo that will be completely free for fans. And you can take away a lot of positives away from that. I mean, I do too. But they had to plan this for months and months so that people wouldn't hoard the tickets and sell them, which I think is still probably going to happen. <laughs> Beautiful money! Money, money, money. But this is what Leaf fans have been suffering through for years. I'm not referring to the bad teams either. I'm referring to the turds and all these huge companies that buy all these tickets and are the reason that the tickets are freaking starting to, what, what are they, 200 bucks now a seat? A subscriber just messaged me and told me it's more fun to go see a Leaf game in Buffalo because the tickets are affordable. And you get real fans there. Hey, broski, Dwinekins. Not what you get at the ACC. I'll have my martini with the side of calamari. It's calamari. I didn't pay you to think. So this is what the Leafs have to do. They have to give away free games under, like, secure circumstances to keep the suits out. They're like termites. I think it's... Fans are fed up, and they would rather go see a hockey game than a Leafs game. You know what I mean? It's the same problem with the Raptors, and I said this in a video earlier. Chris Bosh had to make a YouTube video, for God's sake, and beg fans to cheer. Ain't that right, Bubba? That's right. I am dying to, at some point in my life, see a game in Sweden and chant during the game along with the fans. But anyway, getting off topic... Next, the Leafs recently acquired Ryan Hallweg from the New York Rangers for Pittsburgh's fifth round pick next year. And guys on some hockey farms are salivating like the weasel from Bugs Bunny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just tearing this trade down. Did I miss something? If you're going to rag on every Leaf that's not expected to get 30 goals a season, you're probably going to rag on all of them. He got two goals last year, okay? We're expecting him to do one thing, to put fist to face and to agitate. God knows he knows how. He played alongside Sean Avery. The Leafs traded Belak for Florida's better fifth-round pick than what we got Hulwick for. So for the people throwing their hands up, a fifth-round pick, he's trading away the future. If the Leafs weren't screwed already, they're sure screwed now. Let's get our pitchforks, guys. We got a utility enforcer for, like, the 150-something or whatever pick next year. Relax. Do you want Matt Stajan to fight again? And now for a little tidbit about the Dallas Stars. Mod Turco, Mod Madano, where the Dallas Stars twing. Cowboy TD is a YouTuber I've talked about before. He's given me shoutouts. He normally talks about the Texas Rangers, obviously Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Mavericks, stuff like that. But he's not really that big into the Dallas Stars. And I was like, don't worry. I can do it for you. And in return, he's going to talk about the Bills visiting Toronto, Brett Crybaby Favre, maybe, and a few other things. We were talking about it, exchanging messages back and forth, but now it's in a video, so you have to do it. Ha! No pressure. Last but not least, if you haven't seen The Dark Knight, go see it. Oh, it's so crazy. There's this thing. There's this other thing. Oh, it's pretty good. So that's it for the summer shenanigans for now. What I want you to do is post a comment with the question you want me to answer the most. If I get enough good ones, I'll make a whole video about just that. Other than that, check out my latest blogs, Facebook group, all that stuff. Talk to you later. And let's go more leaves. Got a couple goodies recently. Met Nick Anchbov, got this calendar sign and this card. Now I have no month of September. He's really tall. And the signed Marley's poster by Johnny Bauer and Ron Ellis. From when hockey players were hockey players. And dogs were dogs. MLS and E announced that... Cowboy TD is a you-poober. He's a you-poober. Oops.